the sand cat was revealed for Planet Zoo, and people are kind of torn on it. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of different things about this animal. Personally, I'm just going to throw out my two cents. It's so freaking cute. I love this damn thing. It looks like someone, like, took your regular old house cat and then kind of just smushed it in on itself. But I can understand where other people are coming from. Some people aren't really too happy about the eyes in here. The eyes aren't exactly as green as they should be. Sand cats actually have these very, very captivating, beautiful green eyes. Um... And you don't really see that too much in this model. Frontier tends to actually underplay eye color a little bit. I feel like they don't really do that to their advantage, though. I honestly believe that if Frontier actually played up the saturation in those, we would be seeing at least a lot more beautiful animals. But that's, of course, just my opinion. I really don't mind it all too much. Some people aren't really happy about the head shape, though this could just be an angle. This has happened in frontier past before where a certain bad angle may make an animal look not the best uh but of course we're just gonna have to wait until next week to find out if this is actually gonna be a good model or not it's unfortunately not really a striped hyena situation where you know they kind of made the face a little bit too bad at first uh this one in this case it's just a weird angle and I don't really know, guys. I don't really know. Let me know what you guys have to say. But that is really it for what we're covering today. I'm sure that by the time that this video comes out, we'll probably see, like, the Viper or another picture of the Porcupine. I'm really, really excited to see the Viper. I bet it's going to be so freaking good with how good Frontier's been doing with their reptiles. But still a little disappointed. I'm not sure. What do you guys have to say? What do you think we could have gotten in instead of the Viper in here? Now, personally, I'm fine getting a Viper. Like, I'm not really going to complain because we're trying to work on new walkthrough exhibit species and new exhibit species in general in the modding community. But I'm sure there are other people out there who have fallen in love with the walkthrough exhibits that are kind of disappointed in not really getting something this time around. What do you guys think? I think that we could have actually had some very interesting players in here. Obviously, the Egyptian fruit bat <laughs> would have been a fun one to have in here. But there's other animals kind of like from northern Africa that you could probably see in a walkthrough exhibit that unfortunately we don't have anymore. Uh, well, we can't really get any more, I guess. Uh, but I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys have to say. I'm sure there's, like, cool insects out there that could have made for, like, a really cool walkthrough bug enclosure. I'm sure there's other kinds of, like, small tiny mammals that would have made for, like, a very interesting exhibit space as well that you could walk through. But, unfortunately, we don't really have them. We got a viper. But let me know what you guys have to say on that. Very interested to hear kind of like discussion on that because, I don't know, I was really hoping that Frontier would bring birds relatively soon. Uh, I feel like a walkthrough budgie aviary would have been like the coolest damn thing ever. But I'm kind of holding on hope for the islands pack, if that is a thing of course, um, that we would actually get that there with mixed species for budgies and lorikeets. I feel like that'd be a pretty fun one. But that's not the case this time around. Uh, I'm really actually hoping that we get some good scenery in the Arid Pack. Obviously, we're going to get, like, the coolest signs in the world. Planet Zoo Team has been constantly doing the absolute best when it comes to stuff like that. But unfortunately, we don't really got those as stickers. I feel like that'd be a super fun thing. Just seeing, like, those, um, kind of, like, those signs that we've been getting in, like, a, like not aquatic, but, um wetlands all the way up until now with like conservation and stuff i feel like those would be a kick-ass sticker collection come on frontier you guys gotta do it but regardless i hope that we got some good props just some fun useful tiny things either way thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to drop a like if you did maybe even a comment it really goes a long way with helping me trying to get back retention after like kind of such a lull in the planet zoo new escape and yeah i would just be very appreciative of that thank you so much for even stopping by in the first place uh, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Goodbye now.